Hey guys, welcome to Friend Films, and I have had some serious trouble with camera bags in the past, and I finally, finally found what I think is to be the perfect photography bag, the Vinta S-Series travel bag. Now I'm not saying that this is the only camera bag that you need, or it's the best camera bag of the world, it's definitely not. But for me, and I think for a lot of other people, this bag addresses a lot of key things that I think takes a photo or video bag from good to great. The first thing that stood out to me was the bag is so light. The bag weighs just over two pounds or about one kilogram, and if you put the bag on with nothing in it, you barely notice that it's even there. The next thing you'll notice about the bag is the style. It's a really well thought out style for a camera bag. Overall, it's kind of reminiscent of an old military bag using design features like rigid construction and clean vertical and horizontal lines, but it also uses lightweight modern components as well as high strength zippers and fabrics, which leads me into the durability of this bag. The S-Series is first and foremost a camera bag, so it's bound to be weather resistant, but I went onto their website and this bag, according to Vinta's website, which I'll link below, is actually weatherproof. I learned the difference between those two things the hard way a long time ago. A lot of Vinta's promotional videos and online content that will also be linked below show the bag being used in a variety of different weather conditions and it seems to hold up pretty well to me. All the foam inserts are super high quality and stick to the Velcro really well and I have no concerns with my lenses or cameras shifting around inside of the bag. One of the features that I like probably the most out of all of the bag's features is that the bag doesn't actually look like a camera bag. It just sort of looks like a regular bag and as with most if not all photographers and videographers, I'm usually carrying around a lot of valuable equipment with me and I don't really want to broadcast that I have a bunch of super expensive high-end gear with me. Another cool safety design feature that I love, and I've definitely seen a lot of other bag companies start to follow in this design thought, is that there's no access to the main compartment to the bag from the outside. You can only get to the camera compartment from unzipping the back plate of the bag, which makes it basically impossible to steal stuff from the bag without me knowing about it. The bag is also really compact. There's not a lot of frills or extra padding in the bag. This also is a major factor in the bag being so lightweight, but the entire bag is actually less than half a foot thick at 5.5 inches. My iPhone is actually taller than the entire thickness of this bag, which is just crazy. Especially when you think about how this bag is waterproof and super durable. So yes, this bag is small and lightweight, but that's not to say it's totally impractical and can't hold anything. A lot of times function gets sacrificed for fashion and vice versa. This bag walks the line between those two things perfectly. It can hold two camera bodies and three lenses comfortably, as well as a couple of hard drives, a laptop, chargers, cables, card readers, and a notebook. The bag also has these cool loops on the bottom, which you can strap to a tripod or a number of other things as well that you can hold below the bag. A really cool feature about the laptop sleeve is that if you don't want to unzip the entire bag to get into your laptop, you can just unzip the top pocket and get access to the laptop sleeve behind the removable insert. Speaking of the inserts, they're completely removable. Like every single one of them is removable. You don't even need to use this bag as a photo bag at all if you don't want to. It works amazing as a day pack and an everyday carry bag as well. There are a few things that I don't really like about the bag though. First off, while the straps are super cushiony and almost feel like a gel, they're actually a bit thin and I'm a pretty big guy and this may not be an issue for smaller or even normal sized people, but I could go for a slightly wider strap on my shoulder. Another thing is that the laptop sleeve doesn't really fit laptops that are any bigger than 13 inches. I can fit a MacBook Pro 13 inch with the neoprene sleeve on it into the laptop compartment, but I can only barely squeeze a 15 inch MacBook Pro into the bag. I also think that the side pockets could be a little bit bigger or at the very least elastic. Um, they're pretty rigid and they don't fit much more than a tripod leg for hooking the tripod to the side of the bag, but if that was the intent, then they definitely nailed it. Overall, this bag is as close to a perfect mobile photographer slash videographer for bag as I've seen. I think that keeping your tools safe and secure is one of the most important things to keep in mind when out and about and working on photo and video projects and this absolutely is amazing at doing that and on top of that it provides a great sense of style and practicality. It's not going to hold all of your biggest lenses and camera bodies for studio work but if you're shooting on a studio or a film set you're probably bringing a heck of a lot more gear than just one bag. Anything outside of that sort of work and I'd say that you can't go wrong with the Vinta S-Series bag. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Good talk.